Hi, my name is Natalia Green, and I'd like to discuss the ways my experience creating a podcast in applied digital communications has helped me to develop the ability to network in professional environments. This past semester, I helped to create a literary and travel podcast called Journeys, Stories from World Travelers. In this podcast, we collected essays about travel, had a voice actor read the essays, and then interviewed with the essay author to learn any travel tips they might have and how their journeys had affected them. I learned to network both within the class of applied digital communications as I joined a team to create a podcast and sent out a call for essays, and outside of the class as I reached out to media experts, podcaster, travel enthusiasts, and peers for essays or voice actors. I was able to learn valuable networking skills from this class because of the hands-on learning environment it fostered. Before I started this class, I had a limited knowledge of podcasts, so I was alarmed when I discovered that we wouldn't just analyze a podcast but also create one. However, I'm grateful for the opportunity I had to create a podcast and distribute it through major listening platforms such as Apple Podcasts. Even though I had limited experience with podcasting, and I know a lot of this success is due to networking. My first experience with professional networking occurred when I entered the podcasting world by teaming up with Anissa and Matt to create journeys. Becoming a part of a team was my first chance to develop networking skills. As an English major, I'm used to working on projects alone, but to produce this podcast, I had to reach out to peers and promote my skills in order to join a team and accomplish a project. By reaching out to Anissa, I was already networking. Then, even while we were still developing journeys, we had to network as we searched for potential essays and voice actors through social media like Facebook, through having a conversation with a roommate, and even as Anissa experienced by requesting and accepting an essay from an author currently living in China. Sometimes I felt like, well, this guy, as I found people who could help us but then had to coordinate multiple schedules in order to bring everything together. And I definitely learned about the potential fallouts of networking when Matt messaged me right before we were scheduled to record episode number two to tell me that the voice actress had canceled, so I'd need to read my own essay. This was hardly the only fallout we experienced, as essay authors failed to send us their essays, but sometimes all you can do in networking is professionally try to form beneficial connections and hope they prosper. Nevertheless, during the moments when networking with peers and enthusiasts was successful and I was able to thank an author or actor with some form of sugar and the reminder that our podcast would be a great line on a resume or just something to share with friends and family, I saw the true value of networking as I realized that coming together to complete a project had helped to increase Journey's reach and credibility and it had made someone else more marketable by giving them more of an online presence. Besides networking with peers and enthusiasts, I also had the chance to network with professionals as I searched for voice actors and asked for feedback. Receiving feedback that our project sounded exciting from the assistant dean of the College of Fine Arts and Communications at BYU, Bridget Benton, along with the promise that she'd give an episode a listen when she could reinforce my belief in my ability to create something worthwhile. And it was a connection with someone who had a deep knowledge of media that I wouldn't have formed if I'd been writing a paper analyzing podcasts instead of creating one. I was even able to see the ways in which networking within the group environment of our class could help with promotion when we were able to do an essay about Abby Beezer's study abroad to London, which allowed us to promote her podcast IDAK Adulting and enabled her to promote journeys through her Twitter page. Networking through social media was a major part of promotion for the podcast. I was re able to reach out to other podcasts within our class and to podcasts similar to ours through Twitter. I also found a Facebook group called Girls Love Travel where I could post about the podcast and see other travel projects such as Instagram pages and YouTube channels. I was able to support these projects while also promoting my own. What better way to network? How will these networking skills prove useful for me in the future? This summer I will be an intern at a magazine publisher in Idaho Falls called Harris Publishing. This publisher has multiple clients, which means there's a great need for networking in order to reach out to the clients and find ways to promote them. I can now help to manage and strengthen professional relationships with these clients while promoting their magazines by reaching out to them and using my skills to market their projects. And I can also reach out to those who can help further their interests thanks to the networking skills I have gained through this course. Ultimately, this class and the podcast that emerged as a result of it, though unexpected, showed me that there's nothing more satisfying than looking at the way my developing networking skills 
have created something that has the opportunity to connect others the way that Journeys Stories from World Travelers already has.